35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. I'm XRP Future Millionaire and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So I want to read through this real quick and then we're going to do some technical analysis. We have our Twitch 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have our live class. We've hit seven trades in a row. Um, and after that little debacle from uh, last night when they stopped me out on KuCoin with the price not hitting my stop loss, which really fucking pissed me off on XLM. I recovered. I made two trades today, and now I'm waiting for Shiba to retrace. Um, I'll show you guys after, but I made a, what was it, a 20, no, a 32% trade, which worked out fantastic. And then I made a 58% trade on Shiba not too long ago um, when I had that nice spike. So I was able to take out what was it? I, I transferred 400 or 800 more out. So, but I'm looking at a trade right now. So pay attention. Make sure to hit that motherfucking like button. A sad thing is, is we haven't had a new member of Tom's Army in nine days. So if you're considering joining Tom's Army, put me out of my misery and please join Tom's Army before we hit double digits. And, uh, you know, we have 250 members of Tom's Army. But not having a new member in nine days, uh, I feel like I do a lot of work. And I feel like I want more people in the Telegram. I want more people in the live classes that are free or episodes. I just want to make this community tighter. So, U.S. Senators unveil bill to regulate cryptocurrency. So, Washington, a bipartisan pair of U.S. Senators unveiled a bill on Tuesday that would establish new rules for cryptocurrency and hand the bulk of their oversight to the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC. The bill introduced by the Republican Senator Cynthia Loomis, one of Congress' most vocal cryptocurrency advocates and Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, marks one of the most ambitious efforts yet by lawmakers to place clear guardrails around rapidly growing and controversial cryptocurrency markets. The measure would stipulate that the CFTC, not the Security and Exchange Commission, play the primary role in regulating crypto products. Most of the... Hello, everybody. I want to say hi to everybody. Um, most of which the senators said operate more like commodities than securities. The smaller, which I disagree. The smaller CFTC is generally seen as a friendlier regulator for cryptocurrency, as the SEC has typically found that crypto products must adhere to a host of security requirements. The bill is not expected to become law in the current session of Congress, with the midterm election just months away. But its framework can serve as a starting point for future debates about best to oversee those markets. We expect this bill will be the starting point for debate next year, regardless of which party controls the House or the Senate, wrote Jared Seiberg, an analyst with Cohen Washington Research Group. What does matter is that there is a bipartisan effort to bring crypto into the existing regulatory regime, even if the details are likely to change. The senator said the bill is aimed at providing certainty and clarity the crypto markets alongside consumer protections, among other... I, I love how they always say consumer protections. They don't give two shits about consumer protections. Case in points, Luna 2. That's no different than me starting my own business, getting my um, uh, contractor's insurance, and going down to the state uh, office building and getting my business account or my business license. And I call it TSJ1. Well, then we have a problem, and I come back the next year as TSG2. That's all Luna did. They bankrupted everybody and came back as Luna2, and they're going to do the same thing to everybody else in Luna2. So, among other items, the bills would establish new rules for stablecoins, which are tokens intended to have their value pegged to a traditional asset like the U.S. dollar. These products have been under significant pressure lately after a crash in the value of a high-profile stablecoin, TerraUSD. So, the new bill would require stablecoin... Issuers to maintain high quality liquid assets equal to the value of all outstanding stable coins and public disclosures of those holdings. So that's what we're looking at. So I wanted to read that to you guys. I hope that helps clarify things a little bit more. Let's get to the intro and then we're going to get to the chart. I forgot to say the magic word. Open sesame.
Welcome back, everybody. I'm glad the genie was paying attention. That would have been awkward. But fortunately, you know, we didn't have to go through that. So Sheba, as I was talking about, I said I would go to this and show you guys. It has a Bolus Divergent starting, a Bolus Cross as of right now. I sold out. I had a beautiful trade. Ended up making 58%. Sold out up here. And actually, it was a little higher. It was on this region. Because I missed this. I was dealing with my son. He started crying for some reason. Then it came down, came back up here. I sold at 11.11 for 58%. And I said, I'm going to sell it and hope it comes down to 1081 area on the 20 day. And that's where I want to buy it back in. And it's just convenient that it could happen during this update. So that's my plan here because I think this has one more layer up. I do. Um, I think this is actually going to come up to like 1133. It already hit my first target. And now I think it's got to come up one more layer. But it's, it was a tremendous trade, a tremendous day as well. So that's what I'm looking at for Shiba, um, for XRP. We're looking to come down to the 20-day. That's why I'm coming on because I think we're retesting. And look, this would be a successful cup and handle. If it comes down here and then we can move up one more layer or double top. It's either going to be an M topping reversal on XRP and come down like this. Or XRP... Because of this area over here, if it puts a successful handle, it could just come up here. And then we would have to deal with this because if we come on like that, we could finish out this uh, pattern, the ascending triangle. So looking a little bullish right now. We've been talking about it from last night. I put in a, I put on a video that got deleted off of YouTube, and it was a fantastic video at 1,100 views. Um, I had a buy order for XLM last night, a 20X trade. And as you know, mine got stopped out even though it never hit our stop order, our stop price. And it's been a tremendous day. You would have made a couple hundred, at least 150, 160%. I'd be so pissed off right now, but fortunately, between my two trades today, I've made almost 100%. So I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to get greedy. But I was pissed this morning. But I didn't let it affect me. And I made a couple of fantastic trades, one being Shiba and one being... What was the first one? I Oh, Zill. I made a fucking beautiful Zill trade at 4888. And when I wrote it the first leg. When it came up to the five the first time, it came up to five zero up here. Five zero zero six. Actually it was up here. Five zero zero six area. And then it dropped down hard. And instead of buying this back, I ended up buying Sheba and it ended up being the right decision because it went up more than this did. But this is another one I was watching because I think Zill has another layer and it's going to come up here before it's all said and done. So I think we have an opportunity here maybe to make some money on a long here. On the 20 day, we got a bullish cross. So this isn't looking bad. This is actually the area you'd want to buy. And then I want to finish with XDC because I went through a bunch of random ones before. And XDC has a bull flag. And I think if it could touch this, it already did. But this often comes down. You'll see when you have bull flags like this, it comes down, touches the support, and then it skyrockets up. So you're going to hit 3.8 or it's going to pop back into the ascending triangle. Make sure to hit that like button. Join me tonight, 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. Links in the video description below. We're approaching 400 followers. We average about 50 people, 52 people on the live stream. And we do leverage trading, and it's absolutely spectacular.